is based on where they're coming in from. This is going to allow the customer to store their documents, their photos, their videos, anything that they own. By the way, this is going to be a great backup tool for customers in case their computers crash, in case there's an issue. They can access it from any computer because this is their place, their files, everything that they need. The, the company that, that is putting this together is, one of, is, is the largest in the world. Now, as you look at this, we are in the control center, and this is where you're storing everything. And you can see the files that are in here. Let you come in here, take a look at it. You'll see here if you're store where your movie movies are, your music, any temporary materials. Uh, you can identify what is there. All of, all of what you need to have as a customer is there in place. The ability to upload things, put labels on it. You'll notice all of these are right here for you to to be able to control and handle all of this. And this is literally your library, if you will. Here's who they can con consider to be their competition. Dropbox, Google Drive, and, and there's a couple of other majors. The company that put this together is the same company that put the, together the entire, the entire Verizon database management system for, for, for Verizon. The, it's a major uh, telecom company here in the U.S., including their email systems. Those people that did that for Verizon are now working for Ubly. You will see as we go through this presentation that um, they're when they talk about who's their competition, they're not looking at network marketing. They're not looking at, at anything along those lines. They're looking at the, the Fortune 100 or the Fortune 500 companies. You'll understand why I say that when we finish showing you where we're at today and what we've got. But these are major people that have got extensive backgrounds and capabilities that exceed almost anything you can conceive of. The other thing that's going to be included in this is, my, I just mentioned Verizon. Well, Dubly is going to have their own first-class email system. So it, those of you that have emailed me know my, I, my email, corporate I, email address is isg. Uh, 8164 at cox.net. And the future is going to be isg8164 at doobly.com. I will have my own email. Same competition format is Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, AOL. Those are the majors here in the U.S. You can equate those to some of the major ISPs and, and, and carriers that you've got within your respective countries. The, these, are, these are, again, people that know what they're doing, the, the, the employees that Dubly has hired, and the relationships, by the way, that they put together with, with companies who do this as a business is what Dubly has tapped. And so, and it's designed to integrate with everything that, you know, the mobile apps, the, the Outlook, those that use it, uh, security systems, spam, spam filtering, you know, the, the, the large quotas if, in terms of, of uh, email capabilities, all of that is in place. And it's designed so that you can tie this in to literally everything. When you look at the inbox, you go in there, you see your materials, just like you would any other email. You also have the ability to tie this in to any of the social media. You know, as, I, as we go through here, and I'm going to go back and step. Uh, i got to slide out of sequence. But you're going to be able to tie this in the social media because your social media is also going to be a one login point. In other words, when you log into to doobly.com, you're literally logging into everything simultaneously that you're going to tie in together with Dubly. We're becoming a member of the family, if you will, to, to everybody that is using Dubly. The other thing that you can do from your home page, any magazines, any newspapers, any periodicals, journals, books, whatever that you read online that you have access to, you will have access to them from doobly.com, from your home page. There's a, you know, I read MSN online. I read um, um, USA Today online. I, all of those things. Now, instead of going to those sites individually, I come only to Doobly, and I'm going to be able to do exactly the same thing, but instead of clicking from location to location, I'm doing it right from my home page. And it will also give me updates. It will keep me uh, tied into any changes, anything that's going on that I set my personal recommendations for. Then I'm going to be notified of all of that. The other thing is, here's the illustrations that shows you about the magazines, whether it's Time, CNN, Yahoo, all of those types of things, all from your homepage, 
one location, one place, one login. The social hub is also now part of the home page. I mentioned earlier, uh, if you're using social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever, you now can literally tie it all together from your email system, from your news reports, from your, if you're just going here, your notifications will be fully integrated into your, into your home page. If you get any kind of notifications from Facebook or Twitter or whatever, one place to go to. Now, a lot of people will send out some kind of a community. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're well. It's Tony McStravick. Now, in this video today, we're just going to cover what is Empower Network and more importantly. One message, whatever it is you want to say, and then select which of the social media you want to send out simultaneously. You can also integrate anything that comes in, whether it's from news reports, uh, any emails you get, anything that you stored in your locker, you want to access to it, you're going to be able to integrate that into the social sec section as well and post it accordingly. So, <laughs> you know, again, where Doobly has come from to where they're at today is really amazing. This just gives you an idea as you're looking at this uh, where we're at in terms of this is all, this is your email, uh, this is your Facebook, this is your Twitter, this is your LinkedIn, all of it simultaneously. So they've made it simple, they made it easy, they made it your home. As a customer, the more they use this, the less likely will it be they will ever, ever leave us. And this is the fundamental key on the glue on, on how do you create loyalty with the customers. Also, the, the, the calendar your personal calendar, family calendars, your, your, all of the fo things that you can do with photo albums, all of that is going to be tied in time. So the shopping mall is also being accessed directly from your homepage. And look at the clean look. They've cleaned it up. They've made it, simpler, they've made it easier so that you can see what you've got. The stores that are running major promotions, whatnot, will be coming across the top. The search technology has been increased and significantly made simpler and easier, so you can go find the items that you're looking for. Uh, you can look at your current specials. Again, you can look at your categories. Everything is there in place for you. Here's something that's interesting. You go to the entertainment. Doobly is going to up <coughs> excuse me, upgrade all of the entertainment in, in this respect. We are the largest library, as you know. Uh, 18 plus million songs. You have access to your uh, the vi music videos. You have access to the all of the the games for the kids, single multiplayer games, flash games. You have access to um, all of the internet radio stations. The future for Doobly, now that this is in place, again, I talked about down the road on entertainment. Eventually, someday, it'll include television and videos and movies and ebooks, audiobooks. All that whole timeline now has been compressed. They have hired a company uh, that the the individual that heads up the company is is actually come to work for Dublin now, and he heads up Dublin Entertainment. He held a and I don't know that I'm allowed to to say the exact position that he held, but he held a very very senior position with Sony with Sony Entertainment. He now works for Dublin, and he's bringing with him. All of the relationships he's got with the artists, the relationships he's got with that, the whole the movie industry, that world. And so all of that is going to ultimately be integrated into the Dubly Entertainment uh, section division, if you will. And, and when, you, when you understand what that means and where they're going in terms of the top quality, the top class, of what our entertainment is going to represent. If there are companies out there like Hulu and, and, and some of the others, and I'm sure you, you've got the equivalents of, of that, I'm sure, in, in, uh, in the U.K. as well as in Europe. The gentleman's name, by the way, is David Hunter, and he is, going to be, he is now Senior Vice President of Doomly Entertainment. They're going beyond that because now we've also launched our own e-store. In the e-store, this will be competition, if you will, for companies like Steam, iTunes, uh, we will be selling all of the top products, software products, whether it's Microsoft, pardon this, is in, it's in German, but you get the point from the pictures, uh, whether it's Microsoft Office, Norton Security, any of the software products that an individual will go out and look for 
is now going to be available in the East or from Dubly. All of the games, the major games that, that uh, the kids are playing, you know, Battlefield, Call of Duty, Fife, uh, The Sims. I mean, in, in Dubai, uh, I took my grandson with us. And I think some of you have heard me talk about my grandson. He's 14 years old, and he's, you know, he, he talks and acts like a, you know, a 30-year-old, which in some respects can be a, kind of scary. But uh, while we were there, and they were rolling this out, and, and they were speaking from the stage, and they were listing off all of the games and the relationships and, and, and what they've done in, in terms of their studies and whatnot, uh, Angie, my wife, kept turning to my grandson and said, because, you know, at our age, obviously, we're not on, we're not playing these games. But she said to my grandson, he said, do you, she said to him, do you know these names? Do you know these games? And my grandson turned to Angie and said, he said, Chi-Chi, are you kidding me? I play these all the time. These are the major names, the major brands. This is what everybody knows. So we have really positioned ourselves from a company standpoint offering literally the best of the best of the best. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it here for a moment because here's what I want to tell you. Um, in, I want to tell you some of the people that I met while we were in Dubai at the event. Uh, the, of course, Michael Hansen was there, you know, the founder of Dubly. Rick Delgado, uh, or I should say Rick uh, Daglio, who uh, was at, in Vienna, what is the uh, the director of information technology was there speaking on where Dubly is today, where they how they've advanced today in terms of virtual servers and how things have been upgraded, and what what they've done in relationship to that with Dubly 2.0. There were virtual servers placed literally in every major country of the world, speeding up time, response, everything. And he he showed us and he talked about how. Where the scalability will be from where we're at today to whether it's a million, ten million, hundred million, it won't make any difference. And there, it's done. It's in place. And he talked about how they integrated all of this in place. Um, also, uh, Mark or Stephanie Kitsis was there. Stephanie is director of communications with Dubly. Now she was originally the director for the shopping malls. Uh, they moved her to director of communications because of her background from the um, uh, financial world because she worked for stock companies in the past. She now is working with Dubly in relationship to the um, Wall Street and the communications with, me with MediaNet and, and how they have to communicate with Wall Street, because that is their expertise. Now, the other thing that, that all of you should know is that in the next two weeks, as you know that Dubly is a publicly traded company, it's on the OTC, and it trades under the name of MediaNet Group Technologies. Within the next two weeks, its name will be officially changed to Dubly. So it won't be MediaNet anymore. The corporate brand will be Dubly. And they did also talk a little bit about us moving to the big boards to NASDAQ, uh, and that is on track, and we will be there very, very soon. Uh, also, there was Mark uh, Merskowski, who is our chief financial officer. He talked at length about where Dubly is today, how we've set ourselves up, where the corporation is, uh, the financials. And, and again, because it's a publicly traded company, you can all go and take a look at the numbers, by the way. And, and we're, we're closing out. This month will end the last quarter of the fiscal year for Dubly. If you look at the first quarter of the fiscal year, Dubly did somewhere around $22, $23 million. The second quarter, they did somewhere around $50 million for the quarter. So just that's a pretty significant jump. The third quarter, they did right around 190 to 195 million dollars. That's a major, major jump. The quarter that we're in right now will blow those numbers out of the water. I'm not allowed to disclose the numbers where we're at today, but the 192 million they did in the third quarter will pale compared to where they're at in the fourth quarter. And the, the, the full fiscal year reports will be released roughly the second, third week of November. And when that gets out on the, on the marketplace on Wall Street, you watch the publicity, the, the, the heads turning, and the talk that's going to take place regarding Dubly. The other thing that's important to note there as well is uh, one of the attorneys that now works for Dubly uh, on the financial side was an SEC attorney for 17 years. That's who he worked for. 
He now works for Dubly. He handles the relationships with the SEC, makes sure that we've dotted the I's from a company standpoint, cross the T's, and that everything is in proper compliance, and he's helping guide the company so that things are being done correctly. Uh, David Hunter, I mentioned, is the Senior uh, Vice President for Doobly Entertainment. He went through an extensive review of where Doobly is in terms of the entertainment, where they're at in terms of the e-store, the brands, the labels. He went through the percentages of what the, the games represent to the movie industry, to the music industry, where Doobly's position and how they're going to go. Now, uh, they also had a gentleman there by the name of Mauricio, Mauricio de, de Simone. He is president and chief executive officer of a company called Nitido. Nitido is the largest corporation in the world handling a lot of the SEO and promotional online promotional activity for all of the big boys. And we're talking major corporations, not network marketing. Now we're talking about Fortune 100 companies, Fortune 500 companies. They now are doing for Doobly what they've done with for these other companies. The goal and they discussed how they will do this in Dubai, is, for example, if you use the e-store, they, uh, Dubly has what, you know, they, what they call these spiders. So there's going to be literally hundreds of spiders that go out every day on the Internet checking prices, checking products, checking availability, compiling data, and I mean <laughs> hundreds of thousands, millions of, of pieces of data. And the idea is if somebody goes to Google, and remember now, we're talking about on a global basis. goes to Google. If they're looking for a piece of software, if they're looking for a movie, if they're looking for a, a song, if they're looking for an album, if they're looking for anything that is sold within the Doobly world, that it will, that Doobly's link will come up. If not the top link, number one, it'll be number one, number two, or number three. Now, when a customer goes there, especially with the exposure that Doobly is going to be getting, if they're looking for a product and a price point, Doobly will be, the, if not the cheapest right there, but the, the expectation is that they will always be the best price and the best offering to the customer. So if the customer clicks on the link, they, it takes them directly to Doobly. Just by the mere fact of clicking on the link and then registering, they will become a Doobly customer and access all of the, the stuff that Doobly does on the marketing side. The field, those of us involved in the business, as this gets all implemented, and I'm going to go through the full timeline here in a second, we will be offered the opportunity to participate on all the promotional activity, all of the customer acquisition pieces, everything that Doobly is doing, and those customers, depending on who, who wants to participate and at what, what way and you know, whatever the case may be, those customers on a percentage basis will be assigned to a business associate. In other words, no customers, nothing will go directly to the company. And this, folks, is on a global basis. It won't matter if somebody's Googling something from Japan, from Russia, from Mexico. It won't matter. It's all part of, of, of what Doobly is building and, and where we're going. So that's going to be very, very important. Uh, also there, Daniel Collins was there speaking. Daniel is the director of the Dubly Partner Program. The Partner Program has changed dramatically. Uh, before, it was a private labeled uh, program that um, was very extensive and difficult for, for uh, you know, to implement. The database for the partner needed to be at least a million or more. Uh, you had to jump through the legal hoops, all those kinds of things. Uh, the partner needed to have two employees to administer the partner program, and it would cost them about 6000 U.S. up front. Well, now the way, it, the way the partner program works now is the partner program will be a co-branded program, not a private label, which means the partner's label and Dubly's label is going to be at the, head, at the top of the page. They no longer need any employees, so that removes that expense for them, because Doobly will administer everything on their behalf. They, the price is still the same. So it's $6,000 U.S. There will be a monthly of $499 per month. And that is to have, so the marketing, everything that Doobly does on their behalf is included in that fee. And including everything I'm showing you and more that I'm going to show you here in a moment. Now, what it means is that if you factored the cost of the two employees, generally speaking, you had a, a cost factor of somewhere around 100000 plus by, by the time you figure their salary, benefits, and everything else. 
That's four ninety nine cost five hundred dollars a month. That's basically six thousand dollars a year. So it's a tremendous savings to the partner, and it'll be much simpler to implement because we can literally implement a partner program when we when we fully Im, uh, implement this in a matter of uh, four to six weeks. Uh, also, uh, John Benham was there. John is the senior director of marketing for Dubly Network. Uh, the academy he spoke at length. The academy. The academy will be fully launched over the next six to eight weeks. He took everybody through a, a real quick taste of what's in each of the modules. They have done a remarkable, remarkable job. Uh, the pieces are there not only to teach somebody how to run a business, but how to run their doubly business. All of the things that we need to have in place so we as leaders can go do the things that we do best, and that is building our business and not have to worry about trying to train our own people because it's going to be done professionally. It will be done in a way that we can measure and make sure that everybody has got the information and, and everything that they need to, to have it in place. So those are just a few of the people that we, we had a chance to meet there and to see the, you know, their backgrounds, where they came from, how extensive they were, and, and what it really meant to, uh, to us in, in terms of the business. So you know, that, like I said, to see where they're at and, and how quickly they've come is pretty amazing. Now, a couple of things as it relates to the, to the customer side. As you know, we have the, the free customers, which we still have. We had the Smart Shopper customer. The name of the Smart Shopper customer is being changed to a premium customer. Price and everything about it is the same. We're just changing the name. The entertainment package, which was $9.95 a month, is going away entirely. The entire entertainment piece will become free. There will be no charge for anything with that anymore. The VIP package stays in place. The company will always show a customer. Now you, you're only seeing the top half of this. You don't. You can't see the bottom half. But the the free customer is going to see everything they get. And as you go all the way to the bottom of the list, you can see all the things you don't get that the premium customer gets. And you, and you won't. See, and you'll also see what you don't get as a VIP. If it's a premium customer, then you will have the ability to see everything you get as a free customer above and beyond what a free. Or, I'm sorry, a premium customer would get above and beyond what a free customer has, but you also see what you don't get that a VIP customer gets. So in other words, the company will always, always, always be marketing in a look what you're leaving on the table type format to our customers. Every time they go and they go in the, sh in the shopping mall and buy, when they go to buy, it's going to show them what they get for where they're at and what they're leaving on the table. If they're a free shopper, they're going to show them how much they're getting back as a free shopper, how much they would get back if they were a premium shopper, and how much they would get back if they were a VIP shopper. Continually putting the carrot in front of the customer, eventually comes the point that the customer is going to go, why am I leaving all of this money on the table? And they will continue then to, to solicit them to help them upgrade and, and understand the value of what they have. The uh, customers were also, all customers, including free, will be financially incentivized to refer other customers now. So it's not just the VIPs. So the free customer will, will be financially compensated to refer the customers, whether they're free, premium, or VIP. Their, their compensation will be obviously much less than if they were a VIP, but they're going to get some money. The, the, the premium customer will be financially rewarded for the same thing. They're going to be financially rewarded better than a free customer, but less than a VIP. And the VIP, of course, is going to get the best referral fee on all of the customers that they refer. So they're stepping up the, 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 the viral growth side in terms of everything that they're doing as well. And the customers, many, 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 many customers, are all going to be winning prizes in the, in the, um, uh, the monthly uh, drawings that the company does, sweepstakes. And the company is going to put a lot of promotional push into seeing that, that lots of customers, if not every customer, uh, is going to be winning something. Again, it's exciting, it's fun, it's going to get them engaged and do that type of thing. The other piece is the Doobly apps. Now, we saw the apps. The, the, the apps will roll out. They're done, but they can't roll the apps out until all of 2.0 is implemented. Now, as I mentioned, the first implementation started last week. The second was this week. The third major implementation is, is the third week of October. The visuals that I just showed you all go live then. Everything is live. The back end is live. Everything is live. Now, the best way to communicate with people are videos. 
to show people how simple it is, whether it's how to go use the mall and how to go use the, the uh, entertainment and all those types of things. The DoBot, which is our, our mascot, if you will, is, being, is integrated into everything. Now, we had a chance to see all the videos. They're done. And they, they have, they've incre- included some humor, some of those types of things. They're, 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 it's, it's, they've done a remarkable job. Now, in, in about two to three weeks, the videos themselves will be available. So you'll be able to actually see them and start using them. About a week to two later, the videos for the, applica- for the smartphones will also be available, even though the apps themselves won't be. So you'll actually be able to utilize that on your smartphones and show people it's done. It's, it's not, this is not something coming. It's not something they're building. It's done. And so as, as 2.0 is in, in its full implementation in October, right behind it come the apps. Everything is going to be moving forward. They will be doing some major, major promotions driving this into the um, holiday season, Christmas season, positioning Dubly to absolutely explode in an unprecedented way going into, into 2013. Now, with all of these things that are happening, you know, there have been software changes. Now, you know, those of you that, that are utilizing the express auction and those types of things, when, when, they, when they did the platform split about, was it three, four weeks ago, something like that, we were all on one platform now, North America's on one, the EU's on another, Australia, New Zealand's on another, and then the global's on, a, on their own. Then we went from 11 bids uh, before the uh, bonuses would start to kick out on the cash cards to five. So those we, when those were happening, we thought those were being done to fine-tune the express auction. What we didn't understand is all of the software changes were, were actually being done on a much bigger picture, which is what you, much of what you've just seen. And so now that we understand where they're going and why, it makes a lot more sense. Now, the thing about the express auction, it's, it's designed to do two things. The long-range goal for the company is this. If you look at uh, a company like uh, eBay, eBay has roughly 200 million users around the world. But there's a very, very, very small percentage of them that they call their power users. Now, the power users use eBay for their own purposes. Some of them have businesses and whatever, whatever reason they do it, but they're, they're the ones using eBay in, in, a, in a significant way. But compared to the, to the full database, it's just a very small number. Dubly is going to be somewhat in the same way when it comes to the express auction. We will have what we call our power users. They will be those people who are heavily, heavily, heavily using the express auction as a, you know, in terms of buying cash cards. When you compare that number to the overall database of customers, it will be a very, very small percentage. The second customer that Dubly is fine-tuning the express auction for ultimately is going to be the, the stay-at-home mom, the student, or people that are looking to be able to, to utilize the express auction, if you will, and have the ability to generate an extra couple of hundred dollars a month, couple hundred euro a month, couple of hundred pounds a month to supplement the income in the household. And that's really what it's designed to, to do. It's designed so they can actually, and they're not in the business, these are customers now, and then have additional cash, if you will, to, to buy the things for the family, the essentials of life, do those types of things. And then at the same time, again, get cash back on that, get a better deal. In other words, everything that Doobly is about, and especially as it relates to their branding, is to create a brand where it's associated with family, it's associated with security, with, with fun, with excitement, with value. This is the brand Dubly. This is what they're looking to do. So when, whether we talk about the express auction, whether we talk about the shopping mall, whether we talk about the entertainment, the e-store, and everything else that is coming, I'm going to repeat that, everything else that is coming will do nothing but bring significant value to families. And in the process, those of us engaged in the business will have the ability to make incredible income by bringing value to customers, not trying to sell them something or convince them we've got a better product than somebody else's. The other thing that I'll say is this. Over the next probably four weeks, five weeks, eight weeks, whatever, you, you have to be flexible. 
You've got to be fluid. There will be constant updates and changes being made to enhance the model. It is the software business that we're in. It's the technology business that, you're, that we're in. doesn't matter what technology you have today. Whatever you have today is already obsolete. The companies put relationships together with some major corporations. We will adapt as they make their changes to their products that are part of what, what, what Doobly does. At the end of the day, for us, it will be, if we're looking at it from a business standpoint, what kind of income can I generate for my family? That's the bottom line. That's the only question any business associate is going to ask. How we get there really is immaterial. I mean, I, I, when I say immaterial, we want it done in a, in a professional, ethical manner where we feel good about it. We can be proud of what we're doing. So this is the, this is the, the focus. From the retail side, it's about what kind of value can we bring to customers. So I say that because I know, I know from this business there will be changes. There will be additions. There will be changes coming that as we look at the, especially the auction side of the business because they will be fine-tuning that over the next two to three to four to five weeks. Once all of this is implemented and it's out, then you don't make major changes because the software is written, it's, it's coded, it's in place. And so then it's just a matter of really fine-tuning. But until we get to that point, I'm just telling everybody, be prepared. And there will be a methodology. There will be a system. And we will teach you the system. We, will, we have the ability to have all that we've ever wanted in life. I will tell you, and, and many of you have heard me say this before, it's taken this company years longer than they ever dreamed and tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars more than they ever thought they'd spend. But they're here. They're out. This is, this is not a test. <laughs> Every moving part that is here, by the way, all the things that I've talked to you about already work for other companies. And we're designed by the same people who put them in those other companies. What Doobly has done is they've now put it in under one roof, one place, one login, one location in a much simpler fashion and with the especially with the search technology that is now built into this it literally is the best of all worlds what i have given you tonight is a taste by no stretch of the imagination have i given you the whole enchilada pardon the americanism this is a taste it, it is, it's done. It's here. We're, it's being implemented as we speak. So we're not talking about something six months down the road. This is being implemented last week, this week, and over the next several weeks in its, in its totality, what you've just seen will be out. And we will, dry, we will use all of this as we drive to the, to the holiday season. And, then, and again, those of you that understand, and, and again, I know I'm talking to, you, know, to, to, to you, you folks in the U.K., and I understand the problems in the UK and the negativism and the financial issues that are, that are a challenge there and everything that's going on, we, re, we recognize that. We've got the same situation in many countries. We've got the same situation here in the US with a lot of companies. We've just gone through a two or three month period where a great number of companies that were making all kinds of noise and people talking about how much money they made are now gone. They've been shut down. There are others that have already adjusted their comp plan and adjusted their, their methodology because they're concerned about being shut down. Dubly has stayed the course, stayed the line. They will continue to stay the line and stay the course. They're not worried about those people because we know ultimately long term we're in it for the long haul and we're in it for the consumer. And, and in that process, they will always do the things that are necessary to do it right and, do it, and to do it professionally. So... Um, my focus for all of you is to make sure that we can really get this dialed in for you. Let's take advantage of the tools that we have and where, and where, it, makes it, where it makes sense, by the way, for the rapid rank advancement tool to use. Let's use it. Let's get you to the higher ranks as quick as we can because as the business matures, uh, it's going to change everything dramatically. One, one last point I need to add. My goodness, I can't believe I almost forgot this. One of the things that has slowed Dubly down about being able to localize shopping malls, and I, and, and I know I've talked to almost all of you about that for you in the UK, is that to do it, we had to, to, to doably had to do it on the basis of how the aggregators worked. Now, in the UK, you have LinkShare. It's, it's the largest in the world. 
In North America, we use Quix, uh, Clicks Galore and about five others. Uh, Australia New Zealand has their own. But we had to meet the requirements or, or adhere to the requirements of the, of the uh, aggregators. In many parts of the world, there are no aggregators. And even in, in, in areas like in the U.K. or like in the U.S., there are chains and stores that don't affiliate with aggregators or are of a smaller size that they don't want to be part of an aggregator. Doobly is now becoming their own aggregator. What it means is we now have the ability to link directly stores and chains who are not part of an aggregator or don't want to be part of an aggregator or whatever the case may be so we can localize markets faster and quicker. The U.K. market is an important market, so as this piece gets activated as well, we're looking to drive that activation in the U.K. as quickly as possible. Now, that also will be augmented by what we do there in terms of the field side, because if they see us starting to move there as well, and, you know, it's, it's that old story, which came first, the chicken or the egg, and we can be on either side of the argument that we want to be on, but it's going to happen with us or without us, it, we could just control it if, if, we can, if we can take that and, and move it forwards ourselves. If not, then we'll just wait for them to do it themselves with the aggregator side. But that's what's going to happen, including whether we're talking about the Pacific Rim, uh, the Middle East, uh, African markets, South American markets, it's not going to matter because now Dubli's taking that lead position, and we, we will control our own destiny from that. So uh, it's a lot of information I just unloaded to you. I am recording this. I will get it to uh, to um, to Brian, so that it'll be available for you to to listen to over and over again. Uh, with that, I'm going to turn this back over to Brian. I want to thank you all for allowing me the time because we've run almost 45 minutes, which is a lot longer than I would normally do in any kind of an update call. But I think it's important. But again, I just want to leave you with two things. Number one, I just gave you a taste. There's a lot more coming. And number two, you will get everything I've been talking about in writing from the company. Some of the newsletters are coming out already this week. There will be more coming out every week after that. 